What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing Manchester City's Premier League preview away against Sheffield United. It is the match day number three for Manchester City into the Premier League. Got off to a brilliant start to the season so far. Winning our first two Premier League games, winning the European Super Cup as well. We're looking to continue that momentum now and taking on Sheffield United away from home. Uh, so, uh, before I do crack on with this video, make sure, like always, if you are enjoying the content, do subscribe to my channel. It is free. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries. TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there also don't forget to leave a thumbs up 100 likes is the aim and do let me know your thoughts in the comments below including your score and team prediction for this game finally this video is sponsored once more and brought to you by betmate they're running a premier league 2 p.m sunday special made up of sheffield united taking on manchester city and burnley taking on aston villa it's a 500 pound pot five pound entry fee paying up to the top 25 uh, places and a cool 150 quid for the winner as well it's a free app to download the link is in the description it's available to anybody in the uk who is 18 or over if you use code jsgc10 on sign up you'll get 10 pound in three bets and you can use them free bets to join this pot for free do try code jsgc5 because you might be able to get five pound in free bets as well so uh, do go and check that out always worthwhile but they've, uh, on betmate they've got lots of pots available not just this game but other pots Two for other Premier League games and other big games. You've also got both teams to score full-time results with lots of big prizes on there. It's a great app. Go and check them out. Links and details there in the description. I'll speak more about Betmate later in the video. Uh, and do remember, if you are going to gamble, do gamble responsibly. And when the fun stops, stop. So match information for this game. We're heading to Bramall Lane for the Premier League match day number three on Sunday, the 27th of August, 2023 bank holiday weekend here in the UK with a 2 p.m. BST kickoff time. Anyone going to the game, do enjoy it. If you're watching this game in the UK, it is live on Sky Sports. Now, speaking of our opponent, Sheffield United formed in 1889. Some interesting facts about them. They're the founding members of the second division here in England. They're nicknamed the Blades. They have swords on their badge and that's due to Sheffield's proud history of producing cutlery. They were formed from a cricket club, Sheffield United Cricket Club, coincidentally named, uh, and like so many other Northern English uh, teams uh, formed from cricket clubs right back in uh, the 19th century. Uh, they are the one-time English First Division champions in 1898 and they're also four-time FA Cup winners in 1899, 1902, 1915 and 1925. Lots of history there for Sheffield United. Now their manager is Paul Heckingbottom. They currently find themselves in 16th place in the Premier League. They lost both their opening games of the Premier League. A home match against Crystal Palace 1-0 and their first away game last Friday against Nottingham Forest which they lost by two goals to one. Now having a look at their team and uh, where the danger men are and uh, who's going to possess some threats to Manchester City. Well, I think they've got a decent goalkeeper Wes Fodderingham. I, uh, I rate him. I think he's a good keeper. Uh, John Egan their centre-back, leader at the back as well good player. Uh, Abel Ahmed Hodzig uh, is also a very good player starting as their centre-back. I suspect we may see Ollie Norwood starting in uh, central midfield and a little bit of bite to their midfield so uh, Manchester City are going to have to work their way around that made a really good signing with Tom Davis from Everton who could also feature uh, in this game they do operate with a 3-4-2-1 formation so Gustavo Hamer and Benny Traore uh, could be playing behind the striker which I'm expecting to be William Osula uh, they are very close to signing Cameron Archer from Aston Villa decent player signing him for just over £18 million at the time we're recording this video, that hasn't been made official from Sheffield United as of yet. He had a very good campaign last uh, season for Middlesbrough, scoring lots of goals with them. Uh, he is a very decent uh, striker, so I think it'll be uh, more to Man City's aid if he's not signed in time and not starting. Uh, he, he's he quick. Good in front of goal, good eye for goal. He's a very clinical attacker who, give him half a yard of space, will find a shot and can find the back of the net as well. There is a reason why Sheffield United are spending near £19 million on him. He's a decent player, but as of right now, he hasn't signed, so I'm not sure he's going to be available 
for this game. Uh, if he does sign in time and he is registered, I'll be surprised if he's starting because he's not prepared, he's not used to his teammates, uh, and, and you don't really know what, what where his fitness is up to, etc, etc. It's just coming a little bit too soon uh, for this game. Now, have a look at their team. I'll be brutally honest. Uh, they've made some additions. They've made some good signings as well. Uh, I'm not too sure they've got enough depth yet or a decent enough team to be able to stay in the Premier League but if they can start grinding out some results uh, then who knows anything can happen just looking at some of the injury news Jaden Bogle, Daniel Jebison, John Fleck Oli McBurney, all potentially missing from this game. They were all missing last week in their game against Nottingham Forest. So uh, quite a few players are on the uh, injury list there uh, for Sheffield United. So I'm expecting for their team for this game to be Fodderingham starting in goal. Then a back three made up of Ahmed, Hodzik, uh, Egan and Robinson. Osborne and Lowe operating as their two potential wing backs. Going into the middle, you've got Norwood and Davis, Hamer and Traore on either flank, uh, playing behind the striker Osula. Uh, and that's what I'm expecting from Sheffield United. Have they got enough to stop the treble winners, Manchester City? is the question. Now for Manchester City, some interesting facts formed in 1894 as Manchester City, 1880 as St. Mark's. Manchester City's old stadium main road was celebrating its 100th birthday yesterday. Uh, of course, Manchester City stopped playing at main road uh, near 20 years ago, but uh, I'm sure some history that I'm sure some City fans will appreciate. City are, of course, the current treble winners, current Premier League champions, nine-time top division titles, seven-time FA Cup winners, eight-time League Cup winners, and one-time European Super Cup winners, and one-time European Cup winners, Cup winners, and also one-time European Cup champions, of course current champions of the Champions League, led by manager Pep Guardiola, who's not going to be available for this game. Uh, he's had a back injury, he's had some surgery on that. So Pep Guardiola joins the injury list for Manchester City. He's in Barcelona recovering, so it's going to be Juan Marlilo taking charge of Manchester City with Pep Guardiola giving instructions from Barcelona. Man, Man City's form, won two out of two in the Premier League, beating Burnley away 3-0 in our opening game, and beating Newcastle last weekend 1-0 at home. Not conceded a goal scored four Premier League goals decent start there for Manchester City in terms of so the dangers here for Manchester City of course Erling Haaland don't need to speak about him obviously possesses a tremendous amount of quality in front of goal we've got a new signing Jeremy Doku could be set for his debut here we have Bernardo Silva coming back from injury Phil Foden had a wonderful game last week against Newcastle getting him the man of the match for that game another danger man Rodri's in incredible form right now and City's defence with Ruben Diaz coming back looking in uh, tip top shape as well and looking really organised so some danger men there uh, for Sheffield United to look out for uh, in terms of some injury news Diaz, Bernardo good to go John Stones, he's not going to be back until after the international break. And Kevin De Bruyne, he's out for the next four to five months in what is a pretty uh, big blow there uh, for Manchester City. So I'm going to pop up my team prediction now. I'm going with Edison to start in goal. I think it will be Kyle Walker, Ruben Diaz, Yoshko Gavardiol, uh, and Akanji going into that inverted defensive midfield role for Manchester City. I think captain Kyle Walker uh, will be going on the right-hand side, so it's Nathan Ake once more that's the unlucky man uh, to miss out. But once City start to play every three to four days, you'll start seeing some more rotation there for the likes of uh, Ruben Diaz and Yoshko Gavardiol. With Emerick Laporte leaving this week, uh, it does mean now uh, that Nathan Ake is that other option here for Manchester City. Uh, going into midfield, I'm going with Rodri, Kovacic and Foden. I can't drop Phil Foden. I thought he was sensational against Newcastle and deserves to be starting in this game. So my only other question really is uh, Alvarez had a really good game against Newcastle as well and scoring that goal for Manchester City. How do I squeeze him into this team? Kovacic and Foden's link-up play last week was that good. I don't really see how I squeeze him into the team. And with Bernardo coming back, I'd be putting him on the right wing. Jack Grealish on the left wing and Erling Haaland starting up top for Manchester City. There's options there in case things aren't working. So we'll see. Uh, there are other options on the bench, although, albeit, Man City don't have too much depth to their team right now. But as I said, with Jeremy Doku signing for Manchester City, a rapid winger, he potentially is plan B for Manchester City and who knows why Marlilo could have been that impressed with Doku he could be starting in this game uh, but he is set to at least make his debut could make his first start for Manchester City as well now in terms of betting tips 
Haaland, I'm 100% certain he's scoring in this game. He's not played against Sheffield United before. I don't think their defence knows what's coming when it comes to Erling Haaland. So I 100% think Erling Haaland's scoring any time. I think Tom Davis, if he starts, will get a yellow card any time. Uh, Ollie Norwood, if he starts, is another good option for a yellow card any time as well. I think this might be quite a feisty affair. I think Sheffield United's tactic here is to try and rough up Manchester City. So I normally go for 20-plus booking points as my prediction. I'm going for 30-plus booking points points as my prediction and my betting tip for this game. In terms of my score prediction, I'm going for a 3-0 victory for Manchester City. I'm going for an early Haaland brace in the first half, him to come off in the second half so he stays injury free. And I'm going for Jack Grealish to kill the game off in the uh, second half. I think Jack Grealish needs some goals and assists now with Jeremy Doku coming in. It's putting him under even more pressure to be able to deliver when it comes to the numbers. Not just being able to track back Sheffield United are a team that I'm not expecting offensively to be taking the game to Manchester City that much. So I'd like to see a little bit Bit more from Jack Grealish in this game. Now, moving on to my sponsor for today's video, Betmate. Uh, 2 p.m. special, you can select up to four players from each side. Sheffield United taking on Manchester City and Burnley taking on Aston Villa. It's a £500 pot, £150 for the winner. Links are in the description. Do use code JSGC10 for £10 in free bets. You can use them free bets to join this pot for free. So my Betmate team for this pot, I'm going with Edison in goal and then I've made it up of Aston Villa players for the defence. So uh, Cash and Torres are my two picks for Aston Villa because I think they're going to keep a clean sheet and because I can only select four players uh, offensively, I think Man City are going to score more in this game than what Aston Villa will score against Burnley. Uh, so in midfield, I've put Foden in there, continuing his good form from last week. I've got put Kamara in. I was torn between Kamara and Douglas Luiz for Aston Villa, but I've chucked Kamara in because... Why not? And then I'm going with my two picks to score in this game, Halland and Jack Grealish. My bench made up of Fodderingham of Sheffield United, O'Shea and Burge of uh, Burnley and Ollie Watkins of Aston Villa makes up my bench. Of course, when the teams are announced, if there's anyone not starting, I will rotate my betmate team to put myself into the strongest position possible to try and win this pot. So you can go and check out Betmate. Links and details there in the description. As I said, when the fun stops, stop. And if you are going to gamble, please do remember to gamble responsibly. So there we go. That has been the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up. 100 likes is the aim. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below, including your score and team prediction for this game. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here. We've got daily Manchester City transfer content rolling out. We've got another update coming out later on today. Uh, we're talking all things Manchester City transfers between now and the end of the summer transfer window next week uh, we've also got plenty of reaction videos we've got my live watch longs returning for this game as well i'll have to link out to that later on today for you to go and set your reminders for we've got loads of man city content coming for you guys throughout the whole season so do subscribe it is free we're on that push to 32,000 subscribers now less than 500 subs away so any help towards that will be much appreciated social media links they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram Instagram. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. As I said, do go and check out today's video sponsored Betmate. Links and details there in the description. And finally, as I said, link to my live watch long will be out later on today, so I'll see you for that tomorrow. Uh, I'll also have my daily Manchester City transfer update out later on today for you to look forward to. So I'll see you then. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for that.